Welcome, I'm going to show you how to use two CS448s as an 8 channel oscilloscope. Channels go from A to H. First of all, take a link cable and plug it into the link out on one scope and link in on the other. Next, choose settings, choose acquire and set connection. Now wait for the two scopes to become available. Once they're available, click the use button and hold the control key down and choose the other scope. You'll notice that we're choosing 59 and 62 and we can alter the order of the scopes so that channel A corresponds to the top scope and channels E to H the next scope, in this case 59. Now 59 is A to, A to D. Click OK and the scopes become available. Click on Auto and the two scopes will start acquiring. Channels go from A, B, C, D, E, F, G to H. The first four channels are on the master and the last four on the slave. Using the SIGGEN we can turn on square wave. And we see all eight channels now are showing a square wave which is a 1 kHz waveform, 3 volts peak-to-peak -peak output via the 10 dB attenuators. Our time graph is 3.5 millisecond wide and yet at the same time we're viewing it with nanosecond resolution. We're using a four channel splitter to distribute each signal to the four channels of the oscilloscope. We can examine the dispersion between channels. Let's zoom in using the tracking graph on the trigger point. As we zoom, we can see that sampling points are overlaid on each other. Let's stop and have a look at with fine detail. So here we are at 500 picoseconds per division, and with that we can see that the dispersion is about 500 picoseconds. So we're capturing all eight waveforms with around 500 picoseconds dispersion. I hope that works well for you. Let's use the scope display to zoom out a bit more. So now we're at 7 milliseconds total width. There's been no change in the way that we display the trigger point. So with a 7 millisecond wide capture we can resolve nanosecond level events over 8 channels. I hope you like it. Thanks very much for watching.